Welcome to the first episode of Hilltopper Headlines, the show that brings you all the news surrounding Marshall School extracurriculars. Today we have a lot to cover after the long break, from scores to feature stories. Stay tuned for more. Hello Hilltoppers, I'm your host Andrew Colvard, and this is Hilltopper Headlines. It was a busy Tuesday night for Hilltopper sports as multiple teams were competing against crosstown rivals. The results? They were mixed. Boys basketball suffered an 83-67 loss at the hands of Lakeview Christian Academy, while the boys and girls hockey teams also struggled on offense. The boys lost 2-1 to to Cloquet, and the girls were shut out 3-0 for Proctor Hermitown. Meanwhile, in junior high hoops, 7th and 8th grade boys, along with the 8th grade girls team, all won over Ordeen. Other scores from the weekend are shown below. A very significant career accomplishment was reached on the basketball court by senior Cole Ferrianchek. Ferrianchek scored his 1,000th career point on January 5th versus Eveleth. I had time to sit down and discuss this achievement with Cole. Let's go to that interview now. So first of all, Cole, congrats on 1,000 points. That's really, really impressive feat, um, especially any level of high school basketball. Um, so you've been playing for a while. This is your fifth year playing varsity. Was there a time during those five years that you thought maybe reaching 1,000 points was going to be a um, possibility for you? Uh, well, I scored my first point in eighth grade, and you know, I only had one. But uh, one of the coaches came up to me, and he said, you know, we'll have to see what you do next year, but you should just start keeping track of your points. So I kind of knew from then on, freshman year, you know, I had a pretty good season. And from then on, just being consistent, you know, I kind of figured that I could reach it at some point. So. Definitely. Um, so you guys have played in the game. You score your 1,000th point, kind of stopped a little bit. During that game, did you know? You were coming up on it, I mean, before the game, and then during, were you kind of keeping track in your head? Like, uh, yeah, I was keeping track in yeah. my head. You know, I needed only six points in the game, so it was, uh, like, I knew I was going to get it, and uh -huh. then you know, I missed my first two layups, so I was like, oh, my God, is this, am I going to get shut just, out this just game? A matter of when, yeah. And then, then finally, I, you know, I got in a little rhythm and got it done, so it was good. Good for you. And last question, who's been the biggest influence or biggest um, help so far in your whole basketball career? Uh, for sure, my dad. Uh, he coached me when I was little. He he always sits in the stands, never misses a game, and he uh, he's always there to tell me to use the backboard and keep my hands up and just coach me no matter what. So that's great. Well, thank you for your time again. Yeah. Congrats on a thousand points and uh, good luck with the rest of the season. Thank you. One act rehearsals are underway at Marshall in preparation for the live performances being held here Thursday and Friday. Let's take a look at what's going on in the auditorium in preparation for the snapshot performances. In the spring of 2002, the Actors Theatre of Louisville asked a talented assortment of diverse playwrights to respond to this photograph. So one act is um, a performance that has to be under 35 minutes, um, and ours is a collection of small little scenes, um, and it basically is just a play that's shortened, and we um, compete in a competition at it. He needs your help, people. You are his angel for the two to three minutes it takes to solve his problem. You are the 1-800 answer to his crisis. The mom. They're talented. We have some new faces that don't get on the stage very much, and so it was really fun to see them audition and have them make some strong contributions to the show. I have several seniors who are doing a bang-up job, and the cast as a whole is a very talented uh, group. That's um, my favorite part of it is that um, there's so much opportunity for it to be condensed, and somebody who doesn't really know a lot about plays or hasn't acted a lot before, um, it's kind of like a mini Play. So okay, it introduces people to theater and it's something that's digestible. Only reason you don't, you didn't grieve her when she died. I grieved her, Mama. No, nah, you didn't. You got up and you read out of the book and you read good, real good. I'd be lying if I didn't know and I was jealous when you stuck out. But you did not grieve, Mama. 
So putting it in front of a live audience is what it's all about. So we need that audience to really help us tell the story of this show. And so come on out, because uh, having that strong, big audience before going into competition actually makes a huge difference. In a lot of hard work being put in by Coach Dave Johnson and his team. Be sure to come out and support the actors at their live performances tonight and Friday night at 7.30 in the Marshall Frazzo Auditorium. The Marshall Dance team, who continues to find success year after year, again is heading into sections with plenty of confidence. Seniors Cameron Toole and Do Jocelyn Krieger, along with sophomores Jensen Spry and Emily Geisler, were all awarded all-conference honors in this past week. It'll again be a busy upcoming stretch for the Hilltoppers as most teams are back in action and the winter seasons are winding down. Our spotlight team to keep an eye on for this weekend are the Techno Toppers, who are heading into the state tournament for Cyber Patriots on Friday, January 29th. Other teams to keep an eye on are the Nordic and Alpine Ski teams, who are competing Friday, along with Boy Swimming, who has a meet tonight at Proctor High School versus International Falls and Virginia. Take a look below for other teams who are in action this weekend. Thanks for tuning in to the first episode of Hilltopper Headlines, and be sure to get out there to cheer on your fellow toppers this weekend. Please join us next Thursday at the same time as we take a look back on the Cyber Patriots at State, as well as previewing the girls' hockey team as they prepare for the playoffs. Have a great day, everyone. Go Toppers!